What is up guys, this is Jimmy and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got another Hypixel Skyblock video. It's a little bit of a helpful video, a little bit of a tutorial kind of video, but hopefully you enjoy the video anyway, either if you're a viewer and you don't really play Hypixel Skyblock or you just found this video and you want to know what this is all about. So basically the whole point of this video is to show you guys, if you're just starting Hypixel Skyblock, how to make money fast. There's an easier way to get fast money when you start this game and I'm going to show you how. So basically when you finish the tutorial, you'll end up up in this lovely hub here. You'll have to talk to some people, you'll have to explore the area a little bit. But what we're going to be focusing on today is in the mines. So what you want to do right at the start, hopefully you'll have a little bit of money, a tiny tiny bit of money. If you do have some items, come over to any of these merchants, just sell your stuff. What you want to do is come over to the weaponsmith here. He's next to the bank and the uh, librarian over here. So if you click on her, she's selling a weapon called Undead Sword. Deals 100 damage to skeletons, withers, zombies, and zombie pigmen. And what we're going to be killing today in the mines is zombies. Also has 30 damage. It's a really good sword. So make sure you grab that. 100 coins, you can get 100 coins easy. What you also want to do is come to the Armorsmith. If you click on him, he's got a load of armor he's selling. It's really, really cheap as well. Leather, 8 coins. Iron is like 20 coins. And then the, the diamond chest plate and the diamond stuff is about... a around 100 to 300 coins. Um, I think you'll do with the iron. You can get a diamond if you want, uh, but pick up a set of armor. And that armor smith is right next to the hub. Literally, the hub's there. He's just behind this lumber merchant here. If you've literally got nothing, no pennies at all, because you've just came in, I found the quickest way to literally just get some dollar. Come over to this little wheat farm here. Literally, just go through this lovely little wheat here. Collect it all, collect loads of stacks of it, because no one really touches this. You can see it's literally completely empty. Just completely wreck this farm, pick it all up. It respawns really, really quickly as well, um, and just sell it. So if I grab a stack, so literally, I've just cleared that whole farm. It's taken me 20 to 30 seconds. I've got 40 pence in my purse. I'm going to sell all that I just picked up there, and I'll show you how much money I just made from that. So we sell it all. Literally, just made about 360 coins. So that one farm of wheat and seeds could buy you the whole iron set there and the sword, and you're ready to go. 30 seconds. So as you're heading to the mines, it's right next to the blacksmith over here. If this is your first time in the mines, basically it'll make you do a quest of picking up some coal and then just returning it and then it will send you down to the next level. So you walk to the gold mine over here. So as you go down here, it'll tell you to collect some iron. Collect some iron and then it will tell you to go on. Just to make it easier for you guys, once you've collected the iron and handed it in and stuff, the next level is opposite the stairs. So here it is in the deep caverns. So, so this guy, the lift operator, he takes you to different levels in the mines. You won't be able to unlock him right at the start. You'll have to go down and find the lapis quarry. If you have a run round, you'll find the lapis quarry anyway, but I can just tell you. Go from where you came in, the lovely big stairs here. Literally, just take a left. Stick all the way to the left, through here. You literally walk on down. That is it. It's the easiest, easiest path. So the lapis quarry is where we're going to make our money. Now you're probably thinking, why are you going down to the second level of the mines? Surely you're going to get the most expensive stuff down on, you know, the sixth level of the mines. The thing is, the further you go down, the harder the mobs. And the mobs down there can literally like two, three shot you if they get their hands on you. Up here, they can still hurt you but you have a better chance. Also, you might be saying, why don't you just mine all the ore around, sell a stack. A stack of ores maybe take a couple of minutes to grab. Also, doesn't give you as much money as you think. But like I said, as you go down in the mines, obviously the ores you get, you get more money from, but the mobs get harder. And if you die in here, you lose half your money. But there's another reason why the lapis mine is the best. So basically, these lapis zombies have a chance to drop armor. I'm wearing the full set of armor that they drop. So it's called the lapis armor. Got a lapis helmet, chest plate, leggings, boots. And they're really, really good. Defense is brilliant. Each piece of the armor grants 50% bonus experience when mining the ores as well, which is cool. And if you get the full set bonus, gives you more health. But you can either wear it or you can sell it. So basically, if you get this armor and you sell it, you make good money. So for example, the leggings, they sell for 1,750 pieces of gold. So what I've been doing, and I hugely recommend, is you get yourself down to these lapis mines and you just grind on these mobs for the armor. It's a low percent chance drop rate for this armor. I reckon I was grinding down here for 10 to 20 minutes yesterday and I'd picked up about four pieces of armor. So this is where the sword comes in handy that I told you guys to buy earlier. The Undead Sword. It deals 100 plus damage to zombies. 
which is what we're killing here. I'm killing these zombies in two to three hits. Also a cool thing, while you're in here, as you're killing them, your combat level's gonna go up. And as your combat level goes up, it's easier to kill them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind on these mobs for about 10 minutes, and I'm gonna see how much armor I can get from them. So I've been in here for about five to six minutes, uh, killing the zombies. Got myself uh, a pair of lapis boots, straight up. So that's already money. That's already, I've already got some money five to six minutes into, into this lovely cave. Just remember, it's all about luck sometimes. Just literally, if you feel like, oh, it's not dropping, I promise you, they will drop. It will drop. It just, you just gotta have, uh, you just gotta have patience. They will drop though. So I've been in here for about another 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. A pair of legs dropped. Um, someone else picked them up. Which is very, very, very annoying. What I'll do is I'll head back with my boots, what I've got. I'm gonna see how much they sell for at a normal vendor, but also I'm gonna see how much they would go for on the auction house. So there's an auction house on this server as well where you can sell items. So I got about 1,400 coins from literally just killing zombies in there, which is mad. I'm gonna sell all the stuff that I don't need. So rotten flesh, a stack, 128 coins, some more rotten flesh, some lapis, a stack of lapis. I thought lapis was gonna be way more. Lapis is literally 64 coins for a stack. See, no point. So the boots are a thousand coins, which is mad. Or let's see how much we can get it for the auction house. You're gonna get more on the auction house than rather selling it. So a guy right here selling boots, like the exact same ones I've got, He's selling them to 4,000 coins. It's about to end in five minutes and he's gonna get 4,000 coins for it. You can only sell it to the vendor for 1,000 coins. There's some people who have put enchants on theirs and they're gonna sell them for a little bit more. That's the way to do it, guys. Farm the gear in the caves, whack them on the auction house, and then make your dollar. So we create an auction, whack my lapis boots on. You can set the, the duration. I'm just gonna go for two hours. Starting bid, I'm gonna double it and see if anyone will buy them. I'm gonna double the vendor price. All right, so I've whacked them on, Whack them on. So guys, that's the end of the video. That is how you make some quick money on Hypixel Skyblock, either if you're starting out or if you're quite far in. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If there is any other ways that you think, hey, this is a really quick way to make some money, please leave it down in the comments. We can have a bit of a discussion. I can even do a group comment and pin it if you've got any other ideas. Sorry if I didn't give the best information or I rambled a little bit. I'm only just getting into this myself also. So it's a lot of fun though. It's a lot of fun. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for more videos. I'll catch your lovely faces next time. Oh yeah!